Born on the 21st of June 1934, the legendary Liverpudlian Peter Craven became the first of five to be crowned champions of the world while riding for the Bellevue Aces. He made his debut for the Mighty Mancunian Club in 1952 at just 17 years of age and made his first appearance as a World Championship finalist a mere two years later. It was certainly a trial by fire for the then fresh-faced 20-year-old, finishing 15th out of a 16-strong field with just three points to his name, while New Zealand's Ronnie Moore went on to take the title. But to say that Craven learned quickly was an understatement as exactly 12 months later he stormed to his first ever Speedway World Crown at just 21 years of age. He remained a powerful presence among the globe's finest for a further seven years, finishing third in 1957 and 1960 before reclaiming his world title in 1962. But just one year later, an incomprehensible tragedy struck. That year hadn't provided the most auspicious of world finals for Craven who struggled to get amongst the points and finished an uncharacteristic 10th of 16. Six days later, the Bellevue Aces travelled to Edinburgh's Meadowbank Stadium for a challenge match against the Monarchs. The date was September the 20th, 1963. As one of the star riders, Craven would allow his fellow competitors to pull away from him at the tapes to make the racing more exciting for the fans. But in the final heat of the night, Monarch's rider George Hunter suffered an engine seizure mid-race which caused him to fall. Craven, pursuing him, took evasive action to avoid causing injury to Hunter, but in doing so collided with the solid perimeter fencing. At a time when there wasn't even half of the safety equipment of today, the high-speed impact caused fatal injuries and Peter Theodore Craven died at 9.10pm on Tuesday, September the 24th, 1963. He was just 29 years old. His beloved Bellevue Aces continue to honour his name, his legacy and his legend through the Peter Craven Memorial, first staged in 1967 and won by six-time world champion Ivan Major. To this day, the prestigious event remains the club's flagship fixture and has produced winners of the highest calibre, including no less than seven world champions. Despite only starring for the Bellevue Aces for a single season in 1967, Sweden's Ovi Funden has been firmly woven into the fabric of Aces history as one of their greatest riders of all time. Like Peter Craven, his introduction to the Speedway World Championships was a hard lesson learned after finishing stone cold last with just two points in his first world final appearance in 1954. But this was not the precursor of things to come, and just two years later, Funding romped to the first of five impressive world championship victories at the tender age of 23. His impeccable form continued for a record breaking 11 years, during which time he never failed to make the podium with three seconds, three thirds, and four more championship crowns. It was his fifth and final world title that came during his tenure at Hyde Road at the age of 34, a record bettered only by Ivan Major and fellow Swede Tony Ricardson, who each won six. After his retirement, Funding was honored as a free man of the city of Norwich in 2006, the second of only two non-Englishmen to be awarded this honor and the prestigious Speedway World Cup trophy takes its name from the Flying Fox after he went undefeated through the World Team Cup in 1960, a feat matched only by Jason Crump in 2001. As synonymous with the Bellevue Aces as he was the gold-plated Triple Crown Special, Ivan Major changed the landscape of professional Speedway riders forever. As early as 12 years of age, he dedicated himself to becoming Speedway's champion of the world and diligently saved enough money to travel to Britain to begin his career by the age of 17. Everything about the King of the Kiwis screamed competence and respectability. In fact, it was during his time as a Bellevue ace that he enjoyed the greatest league achievements of his career. In 1969, his debut season for the Aces, 
He dropped only 13 points from his 37 completed league and speedway star at KOC meetings, in which he recorded 22 full maximums and three paid maximums. Major's first world final appearance in 1966 saw him finish a respectable fourth overall, which became a third a year later and ultimately evolved into his first world title in 1968 at the age of 28. He remains the only rider in the history of the sport to successfully defend his world title for three consecutive years, a feat which came to be known as the Triple Crown of 1968 to 1970. In 1970, Two men in the USA by the name of George Wen and Ray Bogleman said that if Ivan Major won his third world final in a row in Wroclaw, Poland, they would have the winning bike gold-plated. Major duly won the world final that year, and true to their promise, the bike was taken to America and gold-plated. And so was born the Triple Crown Special. The machine is on display at Canterbury Museum in Christchurch, New Zealand. By 1977, Major had equaled Funden's record-breaking five world crowns, but the galloping Major still had one last win under his belt, and in 1979 became the only rider in history to win six world titles. He has been awarded many accolades throughout his career, including an MBE in 1976, subsequently an OBE in 1989, and was inducted into the New Zealand Sports Hall of Fame in 1990. Ivan Major passed away on April the 16th, 2018, after a long battle with dementia and Alzheimer's disease. He will be forever remembered as a megastar of the Speedway world. If there was ever an example of making childhood dreams a reality, Peter Collins was just such an example. Having supported Bellevue as a kid, he went on to spend nearly his entire career as an ace. He set out on the road to superstardom in 1971 with the now defunct Rochdale Hornets, a nursery team of Bellevue not so dissimilar to the Colts, before joining the Aces in 1972. He made his first world final appearance two years later in Poland, where he finished 12th overall. It wasn't until 1976, at the same venue, that Collins lifted the world crown at the age of 22. Although he would never repeat such an individual feat, his list of pairs and team championship honours continued to grow, with four world pairs and four world team titles between 1973 and 1984. Collins won the prestigious Peter Craven Memorial in 1978 and a year later was crowned British champion. In a glittering 21-year career, Jason Crump has made a name for himself as one of Australia's most successful motorcycle riders of all time including speedway, road racing and motocross. Just two weeks after his 19th birthday, he rode his first ever speedway world final, finishing 11th overall before the traditional single meeting format was scrapped in favour of the Grand Prix series that we know today. Like his father, Phil Crump, Jason was crowned Australian national champion in 1995, as well as triumphing in the World Under-21 final in Tampere, Finland, after defeating Swede Daniel Anderson in a race-off. Crump took his first laps as a Bellu ace in 2002, and two years later secured his first world title after defeating the then five-time world champion Tony Ricardson at the age of 29. His achievement made him only the fourth Australian at the time to have been crowned World Speedway Champion, a feat he repeated in 2006 by defeating American rider Greg Hancock. After a short spell away from the Aces in 2007, when he rode for Poole, Crump returned in 2008, but announced his intention to sit out of British racing the following year to alleviate his schedule. He did, however, step in to assist Bellevue in their relegation fight and knockout cup campaign, which culminated in injuries to his left arm and shoulder after a fall. Yet despite this, he went on to secure his third and final World Championship in 2009. Jason Crump, 2009 World Speedway Champion. It is really starting to sink in now from the look of you. Um, yeah, but it'll probably take a few more days, mate. You know, it's just uh, it's an awesome feeling, and um, I'm very proud to be World Champion again. And um, you know, to beat all these guys that we're racing against, there's a, such a tough group of riders now, and I'm really proud, really happy, and very happy to be part of this Speedway Grand Prix now. He would announce his retirement from Speedway in late 2012 
but maintains a keen interest in the sport and other motorcycling disciplines.